Last time, I saw this smooth speed ramping style edit on Instagram from D2 Shots. This video actually got viral, and a lot of people were asking on how he created this kind of speed ramping effect. So in this video, we're gonna recreate this D2 shot locked on speed ramping effect without a gimbal. But before we start, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so that you'll get updated of my latest tutorials. So sit back, relax, and let's make D2 shots locked on speed ramping effect together. For best results, I recommend recording it on a high frame rate, at least 60 fps or higher. This effect works better with a gimbal, but since gimbal is not accessible at all times, I recorded it using only smartphone without a gimbal. Also, if you have a stabilizer feature on your smartphone you can just use it instead, and then you can now start recording, try to capture on different angles, wides, close up, do it in smooth constant motion. You can use different camera movements like push in, push out, and orbit, and most importantly, try to keep your subject in the center, as you record it. After recording, throw all the clips in After Effects where all the magic happens, as you can see here in Video Draft Composition. Before stabilizing the footage, I already selected and cut the part of the clips that I want to edit, this is to sort all the movements of the clips so that it would be easier to match the clips later on and thus, speeding up my workflow. Next, create new composition, I'll name it speed ramping. Frame rate, 30. Then social media portrait format, then hit OK. I'll drag the video draft composition above the speed ramping composition. I now have a dual timeline and clear preview of the clips. Then I'll simply copy and paste the footages that I want to stabilize on the speed ramping composition. Once pasted, I'll now hide that clip on video draft composition, meaning, that clip is already used. Next, go to tracker panel. If you don't see it, go to window and check the tracker. Next, select the clip that you want to stabilize, go to the start of the clip, then hit stabilize motion. Go to option. Change the adapt feature to stop tracking, hit OK. This option now stops tracking if the tracking points get off from your reference point. Using the tracker box, select your reference point. Then hit analyze forward. Once the tracking stops, simply reposition the tracker points. Then click analyze forward, then wait until the it's finished tracking. Once finished, hit apply button, select X and Y, then OK. The clip is now stabilized but there are some black bars on the sides. Go to this little icon and hit title action safe. Position the cross cursor into the reference point. As you can see the cursor stays on our reference point, it means the tracking works. To get rid of the black bars on the sides, simply scale up the clip, press S on the keyboard and bump up the scale. Next, select the clip and pre-compose. Do the same process on the other clips until all are stabilized. Create new composition. I'll name it sounds, FPS is 30. Then drag the song that you want to use. To sync the music to the speed of the clips, we need to create a mark for every beats of the song. To do that, click layer, markers, then add marker, or simply hit the marker shortcut asterisk button on the numpad. Drag your stabilized comp to the timer line. Enable time remapping. Go to the last frame and create a keyframe. Drag the last keyframe close to the first keyframe. This is to speed up the clip. Select the keyframes. Keyframe assistant. Then easy ease. Go to graph editor. Select the left keyframe. And copy this curve. 
This curve means that the clip will go fast in the beginning and slows down in the end. To reverse the clip, remove the unimportant part. Then duplicate. Time reverse layer, put the duplicate clip to the right side, drag the second keyframe below the beat marker, then you can refine the timing by changing the position of the keyframes. Next, I'm gonna create a clip that has no reverse, to do that, select the clip, enable time remapping, create a keyframe at the end of the clip, put also a keyframe in the middle, delete the unimportant keyframe, then simply drag the second and third keyframe close to the first frame, cut the unimportant part, easy ease the keyframes, go to graph editor and copy this curves. This curve means that the clip will go fast in the beginning, slows down in the middle and then goes fast in the end. Do the same process on the other clips. To add shake effect, create new adjustment layer, put it above the clips that you want to apply transition, apply transform effect, create a position and rotation keyframe at the end of the clip, move two frames backward, drag the position up a little bit by decreasing the value of its y axis, move three frames backward, move down the position a little bit by increasing the value of its y axis, simply repeat the process with the shakes of the succeeding keyframes gradually get stronger. For the rotation, go to the beginning of the clip, create a keyframe, change the value of rotation into 10, 2 frames forward, change to negative 5, 3 frames forward, then change to 0. To remove the black space on the sides, apply motion tile effect. Drag it on top of the other effects, make the value of output width and height 200. Then check mirror edges, easy ease all the position keyframes. To add flash effect, add lumetri color on adjustment layer, open the basic correction, at the beginning, add keyframes of exposure highlights, shadows and whites, reveal all the keyframes by pressing U on the keyboard, two frames forward, bump up their value a bit according to your liking, then select all the keyframes at the beginning, six frames forward, then paste them. Easy ease all the keyframes. Then add force motion blur. To add flash and shake effect to other layer, simply copy and paste it to other footages. Lastly, add motion blur. To do that, create new adjustment layer, put it above all the clips. I'll rename it blur, apply force motion blur effect to the adjustment layer. Change the value of blur samples into 20. All right. That's how to create locked on speed ramping effect, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.